Mineral exploration is a complex and multidisciplinary process that involves experts from various fields, including geology, geophysics, geochemistry, petrology, and engineering. Geochemical techniques have significantly contributed to the discovery of several mineral deposits. In this blog, we will discuss the five most common geochemical data analysis techniques used in mineral exploration. Lithogeochemistry is a method used to analyze the chemical composition of rocks and minerals. They developed it in the mid-20th century and is now a crucial tool in mineral exploration. P.A. Baydecker is one researcher who developed this technique and wrote a book called Methods for Geochemical Analysis to guide the analysis of geologic materials using direct current arc emission spectrography and spectrometry. Lithogeochemistry is used to identify the geochemical signatures of different rock types and can help identify specific minerals associated with certain types of mineral deposits. This helps in the discovery of mineral deposits, and they have used it worldwide. The analysis of major and trace elements in rocks and minerals is essential for identifying the source of mineralization and the type of deposit. By using lithogeochemistry, mineral exploration projects have discovered several mineral deposits. For instance, this technique can identify gold-bearing minerals in rocks and soils. Lithogeochemistry has become an essential tool in mineral exploration, and it has helped geologists to understand the geological processes that form mineral deposits. Lithogeochemistry is a powerful analytical technique. It has been used to study rocks from different geological settings, including igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks. This technique has also been used to study the chemical composition of soils, sediments, and water. Lithogeochemistry provides insights into the Earth's geological history and it helps geologists to understand the environment in which mineral deposits form. In summary, lithogeochemistry is a vital tool in mineral exploration, and it has helped to discover several mineral deposits. This technique involves analyzing the chemical composition of rocks and minerals to identify the source of mineralization and the type of deposit. Lithogeochemistry has been used worldwide, and it has significantly contributed to the understanding of the Earth's geological history. Stable and radiogenic isotopes are techniques used to study the isotopic composition of rocks and minerals. Stable isotopes do not decay, and their ratios help identify the source of mineralization and type of deposit. The decay of radiogenic isotopes can be employed for dating rocks and minerals. Researchers, such as Harold Urey and Claire Patterson, contributed to the development of these techniques. Stable and radiogenic isotopes have been used worldwide in mineral exploration projects to identify the source, type, and timing of mineralization. Indicator minerals, minerals that are related to certain mineral deposits, can identify the type of deposit and the proximity to the mineralization source. Indicator minerals are commonly found in stream sediments, glacial tills, and soils, and can be used as a guide to mineral deposits. For example, Diamond indicator minerals, such as garnets and chromites, are used to identify kimberlite pipes, which are the primary source of diamonds. Indicator minerals have been used to discover several mineral deposits worldwide, including gold, copper, and diamonds. This technique is cost-effective and efficient in mineral exploration projects, and it has helped geologists to understand the geological processes that form mineral deposits. To recapitulate, Indicator minerals are minerals that are associated with specific mineral deposits. We can use them to identify the type of deposit and the distance from the source of mineralization. This technique has been used worldwide and has helped geologists to discover several mineral deposits. Indicator minerals are cost-effective and efficient, making them a valuable tool in mineral exploration projects. Hyperspectral scanning is a remote sensing technique that analyzes the reflectant spectra of rocks and soils. This technique helps identify the mineralogy and alteration of rocks and soils, which can help to identify the presence of mineral deposits. Hyperspectral scanning has been used in several mineral exploration projects worldwide and has been developed by several researchers. The concept of hyperspectral remote sensing began in the mid-80s and has been used most widely by geologists for the mapping of minerals. The major contributors to the development of hyperspectral scanning include several researchers, such as Harold Goetz, who developed the first airborne hyperspectral scanner in the 1980s. Other contributors include John Boardman, who developed the spectral angle mapper algorithm, and Alexander F.H. Goetz, who developed the first hyperspectral imaging spectrometer. 
Hyperspectral scanning is a remote sensing technique that involves analyzing the reflectance spectra of rocks and soils. This technique can help identify the mineralogy and alteration of rocks and soils, which can be used to identify the presence of mineral deposits. Hyperspectral scanning has been used in several mineral exploration projects worldwide and has been developed by several researchers. The concept of hyperspectral remote sensing began in the mid-80s and has been used most widely by geologists for the mapping of minerals. The main contributors to the development of hyperspectral scanning include several researchers, such as Harold Goetz, who developed the first airborne hyperspectral scanner in the 1980s. Other contributors include John Boardman, who developed the spectral angle mapper algorithm, and Alexander F. H. Goetz, who developed the first hyperspectral imaging spectrometer. Hyperspectral scanning is a useful tool for identifying minerals and changes in rocks and soil. It has been successfully used in mineral exploration around the world, including Canada, Africa, and South America. Additionally, it has been used to study mining's environmental impact and help during emergency responses. Overall, hyperspectral scanning is a valuable technique that has led to significant mineral discoveries, thanks to researchers who were crucial in its development. Biogeochemistry is a new field of science that studies the chemical, physical, biological, and geological processes that impact the environment and the cycles of important elements like carbon and nitrogen as they move through Earth's different systems. Some of the pioneers in the field include James Lovelock, Vladimir Vernadsky, and G. Evelyn Hutchinson. Biogeochemistry is also useful in mineral exploration, where it can be used to identify mineral deposits by analyzing the chemical composition of plants, animals, and microorganisms. It's been employed in mineral exploration projects across the globe, from Canada and Africa to Russia, Indonesia, the Caribbean, and Central and South America. In summary, biogeochemistry is an influential science field that has greatly aided in finding numerous mineral deposits. It examines the chemical makeup of living beings and their interaction with their surroundings to detect minerals. Many researchers have contributed to biogeochemistry's development, and it is widely used in global mineral exploration projects. I think these videos are brilliant, and I'm sure you will like them too. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell.